The day of reckoning has befallen upon us. Hey there, guys. <laughs> this is MDM here, bringing you another, bringing you another episode. Let's play Conquest Pocket Tales. Right. So in the last episode, we made it to the dreadful Mako Islands, and in this episode, we get to do mini games. Yay! Oh, yay! We get to do mini games that are so goddamn hard that I can't even contain my own urine because my urine is going to spill at the thought of having to do these dreadful ass mini games. Oh my god, I'm dying. Ugh. Yes, we have to do dreadful mini games. Alright, okay. <laughs> um, so the first thing we have to do is go speak to the. Oh god, shut leave me alone, please. I'm just trying to take a casual swim here. And, um... You guys are trying to bite me. Dun-dun. Dun-dun. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. Oh, no. I was doing the Jaws theme. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, so... We need to go speak to the ship repair guy who's going to tell us that we have to go get his part so we can repair the speedboat so we can enter the speedboat contest and race against Honker and the speedboat guy can be found up here so Ted's boats All right. hi I the I make the best boats for miles around I will make you a boat if you get me the following parts engine propeller rudder and wood hey you need more wood oh burn some damn damn need more wood Need more words so I can get my hard ass erection. More Viagra, please. <laughs> okay, dude. Calm down with the jokes. Alright, so I want to do the coconut mini game first, and the coconut mini game can be found right, right outside the boat repair place. And this is the easiest one, in my opinion. It's not even that hard. Um, it's, well, it's definitely much easier than the other ones. <laughs> I have some wood for you, but only if you can beat. 700 points. Use the A and B button to shoot. Oh, I bet you do have some wood for me. Oh, no! Shoot the coconuts. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. And they have milk. And they have milk. They have milk. Yes, they do. Oh, God. What am I talking about? Oh, no. Today I'm going crazy. Oh, shit. Look at the skills. Get no scope. <laughs> oh, I got 1,600. You need 1,800. I think it's 1,800 or some something stupid like that. Oh, oh, what is the actual high score for this? Seven thousand. Seven thousand points. No, this is crazy. I can't get seven thousand points, and this is. Like, really, ugh, you have to, you basically have to use the A and B button, and you have to keep tapping like crazy on both buttons to make sure you get every single one. Uh, so far, so good. I'm like tapping really fast, I'm on like steroids, I'm on like speed. Look at this. I got 2,100, well that's better than the last one I got. <laughs> Hooray! Uh, try again. Okay. Well, I'll just do what I did last time. I'm not, I'm not gonna, like, go crazy with it. I'm just gonna shoot when they come into my line of fire. Like that. Because that seems to work, actually. No, I missed it. I missed one. What the hell? How come I got 2,300? I shot nearly every single coconut. And I got 2,300 from that? Well, that's bull hell. No, that, that shouldn't even count. Okay, don't button mash then. Just do it without button mashing.
Well, you almost have to use both buttons, so... Yeah, you have to use both buttons to do it. And then there's me going saying, oh, you know, this mini game's easy. Well, it was for me when I did it on the Game Boy. I did it on on my first try, I think. Or it was either my first or my second. And I missed that one. Great. See, look, I'm getting every single one here. And I've got 400. However, I missed that one. See what I mean? These mini games are just not fun at all. Oh, for God's sake, 1,800. Come on, dude. Give me some more points. Ugh. <sighs> God damn it. Rare, why do you have to be so mean to me? Why you gotta make me sit through this hell? Okay, so far so good. How did I miss that one? What the hell? How did I miss that one? What? How come I only get 2,200? I shot every single one. You know what? This makes absolutely no sense to me. Like, I shoot, I, I shot almost every single one of those coconuts, and I have some wood for you, but only if you can beat 7,000 points. Use the A and B button to shoot. Oh, for God's sake. Yes, I read your rules, but they make no sense. Do you understand? Do you compute? Are you in the Matrix? Because it seems like you are, because this game is insanely hard. And I feel that I'm going to die. You know, like they do in the Matrix. They sleep, and when they sleep, they die. And blood comes out of their mouths when they are in the game and they get killed see 2400 how are you supposed to get a high score of 7000 with the amount of coconuts that he shoots at you like I don't even understand what the hell do you have to shoot like I don't get this this is the worst mini games I've ever played in my whole life I'm not even kidding you the mini games that you play on this island are the worst mini games ever in any video game because they make absolutely no sense. See, 2,400, that's the highest you can get. You can't get any higher. <coughs> <coughs> I'll have to look something up in a minute, because I'm starting to get quite annoyed with this. Because I know I'm doing it right. I mean, how am I doing it any different to what I did when I played it on my first playthrough? I'm not doing it any different. I mean, he's shooting out the same amount of coconuts than what he did in the first, the first time I friggin' played the game. So what the hell is going on here? I have no idea. I mean, this has to be. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. This is mind-numbingly tedious, but that you can't get any higher than 2,400. You honestly can't. I shot every single coconut that you can, and you do not get any higher than 2,400 and freaking thousand. What the fuck are you fucking... No, 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 just no, dude. Just no. Mako Islands, use the control pad to view. Oh my god, this island looks so beautiful, but it has so many bad minigames in it. What the hell? 
Uh, you know what, guys? I'm gonna make a cut. I'm gonna have to look up and see what p other people do because, honestly, I've shot every single coconut on there and it has done absolutely nothing. So I'm going to be right back. Don't worry, guys. I know exactly what I was doing. I was button mashing, and if you button mash, apparently your score doesn't go up so high. Um, you have to wait till the target actually gets like straight in the middle of your shot, so you get a better score like that and that's how you do it basically you don't have to shoot every coconut um, see look at that you get better score see you got 2700 this time uh, 2900 well see my score is going up it's just that it's still pretty tricky to do, you know. Like, I'm not good, I'm not an expert at these mini games, so I tell you that now. But <clears throat> See, that's one thousand, four thousand, two thousand two hundred. Now nah, 5,700, see that's way better, that's a lot better. So we're definitely making progress here, we're doing pretty good. It's just the other mini games I'm not really looking forward to. Ah, 7,000. Does that count? Yes, we did it. We did it. Alright, okay. <laughs> Woo! So 7,000 does count. Cool, man. I heard you were good. Take this wood. I, it will make a fine hull. So we finally done the coconut minigame, which is one of... Uh, I don't know how many minigames there are on this island, but we're going to go find ourselves another minigame to do. Um... I believe there is one, I don't know where to go next actually, I honestly don't know. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head west here, no east, not west, east, yeah. <clears throat> and see what's going on on this island, I don't think there's any, oh yeah there is a hut here. Alright, let's see what this mini game is. Engine Shimmer, and you can have it. First beat Honka in the hurdles race. Press right, left, and right on the control pad to get your power up and A or B button to jump. Alright, okay, here we go. This is gonna. Oh wow, this is so much easier. Yes. Oh, look at that. Huh. <laughs> So much easier than doing this on the Game Boy, I tell you that. Like, if I was doing this on the Game Boy, I would be way behind. But he's way behind, he's losing. And that's how you do it. <laughs> oh my god! Dude, if I was doing that on the Game Boy, I'd be way behind. <laughs> I didn't think you could do it. Here, take this engine. So there you go. Easy as that. <laughs> wow, I didn't expect that to be that easy. Holy shoot. Right, okay, so the next mini game then, I guess we'll head down south, because there is a hut I saw down south of the island. So uh, we'll go in this hut right here. Uh, in the w in the woods, in the forest. Beat 500, beat 5 meters and the propeller is yours. Uh, press 
left and right on the control pad to power up until you land. Press the A or B button to jump and adjust your angle. Ooh, so close, so close. 4.5. Oh, that was really close. Crap. <laughs> I have to get a little bit closer to the edge because we gotta go live on the edge honestly you don't know how hard it is doing this on the Game Boy though yes we did it oh yeah <laughs> my god these mini games are so easy what the hell is going on here I thought this, these were going to be hard. Wow, you flew like a bird. Take the propeller and don't bother me again. So there's the propeller. Um, so we've got the propeller, the wood, the engine. So next is... Uh, what's next? Um, we'll have to go find out, won't we? Wow, this is crazy. I can't believe I'm doing this so easily. I'm telling you, it's not easy on the Game Boy. Like, I'm making this look so damn easy right now. <laughs> it's not even funny. Alright, is there one on this island? Or are we back on the main island again? I actually don't know where we are right now. Well, that's the coconut minigame, isn't it? Yeah, let me have a look at the map here for a second. Uh, we've been to that one. Now there's one all the way up up at the top there. All right, okay, we'll go to that one then. And I think that's the last mini game we have to do. Pretty sure. Kill a snake. <laughs> yeah, it's this house right here. I can supply you with a runner, but you must first beat Honker in a swim race. Press the left and right on the control pad to power up, to get your power up, and the A or B button to breathe. Right, okay. I might fail this one, because this is like the hardest one to do. See what I mean? I'm starting to fail. He's catching up. Yeah, but I'm always like one second ahead, so. Or a few seconds ahead, should I say. Yeah, it doesn't take that long to catch up to him. Wow, we're doing really good here. Oh my god, this is starting to hurt my fingers well starting to tire them out uh, <laughs> oh my god this is going on forever keep going it's like the Olymp this is like racing for the Olympics or some crap but you can't stop otherwise he's gonna overtake you you need to go faster you need to go faster go Sanic speed Oh my god, this is so tiring. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Ooh. Oh, imagine doing that on the Game Boy. <laughs> that sure was fast. Take this rudder. Because on the Game Boy, you have to use the D-pad, which is very tiring. <laughs> Tell you that. I mean, doing it on the keyboard is not so bad. Alright, so we have the rudder, the engine, the propeller, and the wood. Is that, is that everything? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is, so we can go give all this stuff to the to the um, guy who fixes up our boat, so then we can enter the speedboat race, which means that's world complete. Oh my god, wow, <laughs> pretty much, yeah, we don't have any presents to collect here, so we won't ever have to come back to this world again, as far as I'm aware, we just need to go back to Claw Swamp and stuff like that, to get hidden items in there, and... But I think I'll start off with World 2, we'll go back to Vultureville, and then we'll go back, you know, we'll go to Crow Keep, and then we'll go back to Claw Swamp, and then we'll move on to the final world, which is the Aztec place. C 
cool, you've got all the parts. I will build you a boat. I saw Honka hanging out to the west on a j on the jetty. Right, so I guess that's it for this episode then. I'm not going to fight the boss in this episode. We'll do that in the next episode. Um, so in the next episode of Let's Play Conker's Pocket Tales, we shall um, race off with Conker in the speedboat um, race. Um, so until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take care everybody, see you on the next video, and goodbye.